Longsword From the 14th to the 16th century, the longsword featured a lengthy double-edged blade and an extended grip for two-handed use. Its design optimized both cutting and thrusting from a distance, making it highly effective against reinforced armor and cavalry. As warfare evolved and heavy armor became less common, the longsword's role shifted primarily to dueling, eventually giving way to smaller, lighter swords better suited to the faster pace of modern combat. This transition marked the longsword's adaptation from battlefield dominance to a more ceremonial or dual-specific weapon in the evolving art of war. Mace The mace, essentially a club with a spiked or flanged head, was ready to deliver career-ending blows. It gained fame in the 14th and 15th centuries, favored by mounted knights and foot soldiers alike. Imagine swinging something akin to a spiky baseball bat, effective and downright terrifying. The mace's real party trick was its ability to deform plate armor with a single, solid thump, making it a popular choice for those who preferred brute force over finesse. Some models even featured tricky spikes that could latch onto armor, making them a clingy companion in battle. Warhammer Introduced in the 14th century, the Warhammer was designed to wreak havoc on armored foes, featuring a hefty metal head on a sturdy wooden shaft. It became the Nightmare of Knights, capable of denting armor and causing severe internal injuries. It wasn't just about blunt force. The pointed end allowed for precise strikes at vulnerable joints or through visors, available in various styles. Some even boasted ornate designs, making each blow a personalized statement of power. Axe Ranging from throwable sizes to hefty two-handers, the axe featured a blade that could be broad for smashing or pointed for piercing, adding versatility with a spike on the reverse. Effective against armor, it could split helmets or cleave through shields. With its ability to crush and slice, axes could sever limbs or decapitate foes in one strike, making them a critical weapon in medieval arsenals. Spear, favored for its length, typically six to nine feet, and sharp metal tip. The spear allowed soldiers to engage enemies from a safe distance, proving effective against armored opponents. Economically accessible, the spear was versatile, used for thrusting, throwing, and forming defensive lines against cavalry. Variants like the halberd combined spear and axe features, making it a feared weapon on the battlefield. Longbow Crafted from strong, flexible yew wood, the longbow required significant strength and skill to operate, launching arrows with precision over long distances. Famous for its impact in the Hundred Years' War, especially at Agincourt, the longbow was a battlefield equalizer, capable of piercing heavy armor. Its range and rapid-fire capability made it a symbol of dread, solidifying its status as one of the deadliest weapons of the medieval era. Crossbow The crossbow changed the dynamics of warfare with its high-speed arrow release mechanism, enabling infantrymen to engage armored knights from a safe distance. Feared for its accuracy and power, the crossbow could pierce armor, causing fatal injuries. Variations like the arbalest and siege crossbow enhanced its lethal capabilities, making it a battlefield terror. Poleaxe The poleaxe combined multiple tools in one, an axe for chopping, a spike for piercing, and sometimes a hammer, making it a versatile weapon on the battlefield. Favored by knights for its versatility, it starred in battles like Cressy and Agincourt, effortlessly piercing armor and smashing helmets. Weighing four to eight pounds, it offered variations like the Beck de Corbin for extra piercing power and the Lucerne Hammer for crushing blows, making it a formidable weapon in any warrior's arsenal. Flail The flail, with its spiked ball connected to a handle by a chain, excelled in delivering unexpected close combat strikes. Highly favored in Eastern Europe and Russia, the flail's unpredictability enabled attacks from various angles, instilling both fear and controversy. One notable variation is the three-section staff. This design diversity enhanced the flail's tactical versatility, making it a formidable weapon in medieval arsenals. Lance Lances, 
long and metal-tipped, were crafted from hardwood or bamboo and reinforced with metal for durability. Primarily used by cavalry, they were adept at delivering powerful, piercing blows from a distance. Integral in both jousting and warfare, lances evolved into forms like the couched lance, known for its lethal accuracy in charging attacks. Despite their effectiveness, their length and weight made them unpredictable, respected, and feared on the battlefield for their ability to penetrate armor. Pike The pike, a long pole weapon ranging from 10 to 25 feet with a metal blade, was essential in medieval battles, particularly against cavalry charges. Wielded by foot soldiers known as pikemen, these formations, like the pike square, switched between offensive and defensive tactics. In defense, the front rank crouched with pikes angled upwards, while the second rank prepared to thrust, creating a dense barrier against advancing enemies, making the pike a crucial defensive tool. Morningstar The Morningstar, a menacing evolution of the club, emerged around the 14th century. Named for its star-like appearance, this weapon featured a long wooden shaft, often up to six feet, topped with a large metal ball adorned with spikes. Its design made it devastating in combat, capable of breaking bones and piercing even full plate armor with ease. Primarily wielded by infantry due to its effectiveness, the Morningstar also appeared in a cavalry-friendly version with a shortened shaft, allowing mounted soldiers to leverage its brutal impact. Horseman's Pick The Horseman's Pick, a weapon of Islamic origin, featured a dual-purpose design with a long spike and a hammerhead. This configuration allowed cavalry, and later infantry, to dent or break enemy armor with the hammer side, while the spike could pierce through plate armor. Although it typically didn't cause deadly wounds, the spike could sometimes stick in the armor, making extraction challenging. Despite this, the horseman's pick proved to be an effective weapon and was widely adopted across various nations. Knightly Sword The knightly sword, also known as the arming sword, was a single-handed straight sword that evolved from the early Viking swords of the Middle and Late Medieval Ages. Characterized by a long cross guard that formed a cross shape, these swords often featured inscriptions praising God on their silver blades. Primarily used by knights due to their cost, these swords were effective slashing weapons. However, as armor technology advanced in the 13th century with improvements in chainmail and the addition of plate armor, the need for thrust-heavy blades became apparent. This shift led to the development of various sword types, though they eventually lost their effectiveness against the robust full-plate armor. Halberd The halberd, a versatile pole-arm weapon, was developed by Swiss soldiers in the 14th century, combining an axe, a hook, and a pike at one end of a long wooden shaft. It was innovative for its time and relatively inexpensive to produce. Its versatility made it highly effective in skilled hands, capable of striking with speed and precision. The halberd's popularity spread from Swiss to German soldiers and throughout Europe by the 16th century. However, as battlefield tactics evolved, its prominence waned, leading to its reduced presence in combat scenarios. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll enjoy our Deadliest Martial Art Weapons video. Don't forget to subscribe for more!